Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I am going to finish the Timeless Trials for the week, which is the five SSS level trials. So let's begin with SSS Trial 1, where the time law is for the enemy after being attacked, the attacker's intelligence and attack are both decreased by 60%. It lasts three turns and can be dispelled. This is not a bad time law because I bring multiple healers anyways. And there's always Liana with her talent to dispel debuffs. So it works out quite well for me. In addition, my Leon actually has Overlord's badge, so I don't think he's even affected by the debuff at all. In any case, let's begin. So, I'm going to bring Bozel with Earthquake and Summon Undead, because the Summon Undead is useful for the Cuttlefish, forcing it to waste the Tentacle Strike. You can definitely beat it without having Summon Undead, right? You just need to position your characters more carefully, right? It moves up three, then two more, then it moves up three more, and it needs to be in range to pull one of your ranged characters. But for simple simplicity purposes, if you have summon undead, bring it. All right, let's begin the fight. Okay. So, turn on danger zone. Yes. I'm, the interesting point here is how far the catapult can attack. So I'm just going to place Leon right there. Yes. I actually can't get attacked this very first turn, so I can take my time a little. Let's drop the summon right now. Why don't I just move it down? Ledin is just going to faction buff because... He doesn't need to Divine Guard this turn. The enemy is too far away. And Sophia, I'm not going to bother to regenerate just yet. For the very same reason. I'm not getting attacked this turn. Okay. So. I want to trigger the Cuttlefish's Tentacle Strike on this guy, Necromancer. Yes. So let's start by placing Ledin forward and using the Vanguard. Oh. Yes. Leon is responsible for killing ranged characters. So let's get rid of the Catapult. And the attack. Treat. Liana will again Leon. Let's get Bozel down to Earthquake all my enemies in the south to weaken them. And actually, the cuttlefish got silence, so it can't even tentacle anymore. Which is convenient. Leon will do his second attack, like so. Let's leave the Necromancer where he is, and finally have Sophia regenerate Lenny. So Leon starts things off, or sorry, Lenin starts things off, killing off the Calvary. Killed the cuddle. Killed the uh, summon. Oh. So actually, summon necromancer would not have been any good here. Huh. Regardless. <laughs> Let's start things off with a rewind right now. <laughs> There's no buffs due to the decay effect from the huh? Archer. So, let's shoot down the Harpy Queen and have Leon just do a regular attack to start. Because I'm decayed, there's no point in using Chivalry. But it wasn't an issue. 
And attack the cuttlefish with assault. Surprisingly, not enough damage to kill it. But not a problem. Ledin has enough uh, buffs on him. So he'll do just fine in killing off the last two enemies, I think. So I guess for my clear, it did need a seal to kick in. So there was that luck element. Otherwise I would have gotten uh, tentacled by the cuttlefish, but I don't think the tentacle would have killed anyone. Not sure about that. In any case, first map cleared, let's move on to the second SSS level trial. After being attacked, same time law as the previous map. So, you know, for this one, why don't I remove the Overlord's badge from my Leon? Give him wing shin guards. Because clearly, not everyone has an Overlord's badge right now. So let's do that switch and see how it plays out. All right, so here we go with the second battle. And for this battle, Due to the time law, I am going to be running Tiaris and Sophia. So, three healers, right? I'm using Tiaris because she has the ability to cast Miracle on my characters, buffing them up further. Uh, and also, her healing talent, if it kicks in, can always help. You could just as easily bring Bozo for his Earthquake, of course, right? His Earthquake decreasing the enemy's attack, int, and defense does practically the same thing, right? The problem with bringing Bozo, though, is getting him into range to Earthquake the enemies. So, either style works, I think. One is Earthquake, one is keep your characters healthy. I'll bring, you know what? For this example, I'll bring the Earthquake Bozo. But just so you're aware, I think either example, either method could work. Why don't I do Earthquake and Sleep? Okay. So, this is going to be my party with this formation. And let's begin. So, Ledin is going to move up and. The Vanguard. And Sophia will regenerate Ledin. So the first two steps are clear. Leon wants to charge forward chivalry and attack. So before that, let's have Bozo move up and Earthquake the enemies, as I mentioned. And buffing them, and so on. The ideal is if this angel gets debuffed, so it can't use wind pressure. But in this case, that didn't happen. So be it. Let's move Leon forward. Chivalry up. And just weaken the aquatic general to start. And move back. Liana is going to come up. And again, Leon. And Leon is going to use Assault on the Angel. That can... Uh, that could have Wind Whispered. So I'm making sure I kill off that character. And retreat. Decay. And Ledin tanks a few hits now. First one is from the Flyer General, which really hurts. Second one is from a Harpy, which also really hurts. 
but due to the earthquake, right, keeps letting this kept alive. And the third hit is from an undead knight, which will easily die to let it. So at this point, I just need to deal with really the two ranged attackers. So let's have Liana heal up Leon to start. Because I need to remove some of those debuffs. Now, let's have Ledin. Can he even faction buff? He can faction buff now. So let's have Ledin faction buff. Sophia is going to rewind the party. Before I rewind though, let's have Bozo toss out an attack. Right? And the easiest one is to sleep this ranged attacker, mocking it out of the fight. Now, let's rewind so that Leon can chivalry attack. And then... Yeah, Leon would chivalry attack to kill off a target, so let's do that. If the debuff was not removed from Leon, right, if Leon could still not buff himself, then you probably change strategies. You would probably go after, let's say, the Dark Elf General instead, right? Cause, but since for me, Chivalry uh, is working fine, I might as well kill off the Mist Dancer. Like so. So there we go. The enemies attack the closest Mage or Healer class, so they go after these two, instead of Bozo, who is further away. And Ledin kills them both off as a result. And now there is only the Flyer, or sorry, the Dark Elf General, who easily falls to Leon. Earthquake Bozel showing his power once again. SSS Trowth 3. When attacked, damage dealt increases by 100%, and damage you take decreases by 50%. Okay, so you need melee attackers to attack ranged attackers, and ranged attackers to attack melee characters, or have the melee attackers attack you. So let's have Leon focus on killing enemies in the south, right? These two should be easy kills. Ledin will tank hits, Bozol is ready to debuff enemies as needed. So let's begin, I think. Yeah, I'll put Bozel up here. Perfect. So here we go. So let's start off with the assassin. You can ignore guard. Chivalry assault. Hmm, actually I need two attacks to kill off each enemy. So let's have Ozo sleep this guy for now then. Yana is going to again Leon to get the kill. Let in the vanguard. Sophia will regenerate. And let in tanks the first hit. 
And you see, as powerful as my Leaden is, he's no longer one-shotting even these Calvary units. So, it just shows how powerful at this point the SSS level trial enemies are. Okay. Right? With level 73, it's uh... Huh? It's tough! Alright, let's move Fozel down and Earthquake to start. Finishing off the Hellhound, damaging this Leviathan. Let in. I'm trying to avoid taking the attack from the infantry general. Now. So let's move back and faction. Rewind. Liana is ready to again Leon. So Leon has to make another decision of which target to kill. Leviathan or Holy General? And I think the choice right now is the Leviathan. Get rid of another attacker. So here we go. Chivalry? Assault to start. And retreat. Rihanna with the again. And Leon with the finish. There we go. Even this holy general hits really hard. Huh? Now, the infantry is in range unless I retreat further. So that's what I'm going to do, I think. Leon can take the opportunity to attack and retreat against this holy general, forcing it to heal itself instead of attacking. But everyone else is pretty much running back. Actually, why don't I take the opportunity to sleep him? The problem there, though, is if I sleep this guy, this infantry can attack me. So let's not. Let's just regenerate. Yeah. Regenerate. Let in. Retreat. Bozo. And have Liana cast Prayer. Things are definitely getting rough at this point. Can I still evade this guy? No. So I have no choice but to attack. So be it. So let's plan this out. Huh? How can I attack and have Ledin be able to Sage's Hat? But I actually don't need Sage's Hat, I just realized. There's no more Ram characters anymore. So... Pick a target to kill. Let's sleep the infantry. Knocking it out of the fight, clocks activated. I can't actually kill anyone due to 
Leon not doing enough damage, right? So why don't I assault the Holy General for now? So that it can't heal itself. Yes. Hi. Liana can move up and heal up Let in. To fall. Let in can now attack this infantry general. Not doing much damage to it. But not taking any damage, which is more important. And then whatever. Sophia is just going to say just had let in. Ledin gets cursed, and Ledin tanks the hit from the Leviathan. Healer tries to heal itself, but can't due to itself. So. Let's have. Bozal Earthquake, as if I do not have access to sleep right now. Right. Ledin will no longer have Divine Guard. Uh -huh. Let's start things off with an Earthquake from Bozal. And I got lucky here. Silenced everything. Leon, Chivalry. Take a target to kill. My choice is the Holy General to start. And retreat. Let in. We'll just move back a tile. Liana is going to again Leon. Get a second attack off. And for me, I think the second attack should target the infantry. Good. With assault and chivalry, I was able to kill off that infantry, leaving just two ranged attackers who should not be able to kill off Ledin. To guarantee that, I'm going to heal up Ledin, not using regenerate because of the effect of this Hellfire Archer. It can apply, cannot be healed on your characters. So Ledin tanks the two hits just fine. Which means this fight is effectively over. Because they cannot kill off my tank anymore. Let's work down. The flame skeleton. And move back. Huh? I'm going to assume Bozel has no skills right now, but. Yeah. Huh? So I'll just. And you know, it doesn't really matter. If you have clocks like me, you can just use the skills at this point. If you don't, you know, just end Bozel's turn. And why don't I just regenerate Ledin? Oops. I should have ended Ledin's turn first before regenerating him. No big deal though. Fashion buff. It's not like they can kill off my Ledin. So let's start things off with... I think sleep would be recharged by now. I don't even know. Three rounds, maybe not. Whatever. So I'll just have Bozo just stand here instead of using him to attack. Just heal up, let in. And Leon will just work down the last Leviathan. Vanguard. And the battle is over. With Leon getting multiple attacks off this turn. I think the first one will be enough. Oh. Nope. 
Close, but not quite. But with the again, it will be done. So it just shows how little damage the enemies take. Even with my Leon, as powerful as he is, he needs two attacks to kill off these targets. But there is the clear, and that's what's important. So we're on SSS Trial 4. When hit points is 100% for the enemy, damage dealt increases by 100%, and damage you take decreases by 50%. Alright, so here we go, and let's zoom out first. This battle, alright, so there's three aquatic generals in the north, and some very scattered enemies in the south while you're also scattered. Hmm. Okay, Leon can go here maybe? Let's see. I, what I want here is Leon to attack, right? So Leon would, for example, chivalry attack twice, hopefully killing off two targets. Actually, why don't I do this? I need to hit these enemies with AoEs, and that's the problem, inherently. Hmm. How about this? Okay. I'm going to have Lana with Heaven Sanction to damage all these enemies, these three, right? Leon will kill off one, and Bozel will sleep the other. And then bring a faction buff to buff up Lena. The three enemies will be damaged, and then Leden can protect Lena while Sophia will regenerate Leaden. Okay, let's give this a shot. Actually, you know what? Let's change Leaden to Burning Sun and Divine Guard. So that he can... Uh, I don't know. Sun Slash, maybe? It's worth a try. So he won't bring a faction buff, but instead he will be able to use an attack skill to weaken the Dark Elf General. So let's see how this works out. Here we go. So, let's move and have been sanctioned and hit these three. Weakening on Leon is going to chivalry and assault to kill off the misdancer. Bozo is going to sleep the gargoyle. And over here, <laughs> Leden has the Divine Guard to protect Lana, and then Sophia will regenerate Leden. So let's see how this plays out. DK, Tentacle. On Lena. And 
Do? Things look okay, huh? I think. Lana's going to die, so I can't keep her alive. So let's have her do as much. Let's have her just weaken the aquatic general. I was at full hit points. Leon, though, can attack the gargoyle and weaken it. Huh? And Bozo. Can he finish off the gargoyle? Over here, let's have Ledin use Sun Slash to hit the Dark Elf General. I'm going to have Sophia heal herself for now. Leon has to finish the gargoyle then. Or not. Wow. Getting ripped up. There we go. Over here. I need to evade this aquatic general while killing off these two. So why don't I rewind to start? Okay. And Ledin can now Burning Sun once more to kill off the Dark Elf General. Huh? Waiting for him to come down. It's three, then one, two, right? Huh? And I also need to stay away from this guy. So let's just camp in the corner for now. Huh? And have puzzle fashion buff. Similarly over here. Let in, just divine guards, and Sophia will regenerate. Let in. Tentacle attack on Sophia, no problem. Evade this attack. Yes. Nope. Yes. So instead, I suppose it's yes. the best thing for me to do is get into the mountain. But if I get into the mountain, it won't protect Sophia. Yes. Whatever. Let's just move it and heal up Ledin. Over here, sleep. And chivalry up to heal up Leon so that he can attack.
Wow! Ledin barely surviving here. I'm going to have to try my best to kill off this aquatic general. So hopefully, Bion can do it. Yes! Surviving with 160 hit, 63 hit points. Wow! You have to be ridiculously upgraded to succeed on this clear. I honestly don't know how you can do it without having really powerful characters. Oh man. I think the tentacle is about it's about to use tentacle again. Guess I'll have Sophia play herself. Try to get my characters on the other side over. Ledin is just going to Divine Guard. I was right on the tentacle attack, but can Ledin tank the sit? He does. So, I pretty much succeed in this clear then. Okay. This is going to attack here. If I want to get into range, I'd have to move up a bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then chivalry, then 1, 2, 3. So that's fine. So let in totally MVP for this fight. The battle really devolves into a slugfest. At least for my party. But it worked out. Alright, so we're just going to finish this fight with Leon attacking. And there we go. Incredibly, incredibly awkward, this fight. For me, anyways. <laughs>